tech support song. It's all about a boy with a big insecurity issue. The whole song's a metaphor for the fact that he can't get his life together. <laughs> no, it's not. It's about life in a lab. You know, all those issues that day by day we come into contact with. I mean, it's obvious. Whoa, whoa. Time out, okay? <clears throat> Tell that to the tourists. It's not about the issues we come across in the lab. It's deeper than that. It's one for all of us. The insecurities we all feel. It's not obvious. The lab rat battle's obvious. No argument about that. No. Which one is the lab rat battle? <laughs> you remember the lab rat battle? It was a big hit for life. Man, I I'm not even a fan of LT Factor, and even I've heard of the lab rat battle. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I didn't say I ain't heard of it. All I said was, how does it go? Excuse me for not being the world's biggest life fan. All right, everybody cough up for the green compliance lady. Come on, throw in. Uh, I don't use them. You don't use compliance services? No, I don't believe in it. You don't believe in compliance services? Come on, IQ, OQ, and IPV. All integral parts of the validation process. And essential from both uh, business and regulatory perspective. Ah, don't give me that. It's just the balance between resources and the cost of non-compliance. Who would have the gall to say that? Uh, let me get this straight. You never use compliance services. Mm -hmm. the, what about regulatory standards? International, governmental? The, what about the time you're spending qualifying instruments, quality assurance, and uncovering future problems that'll lead to downtime? All right, look, I'll use compliance if it's absolutely necessary. If it's an absolute requirement, I'll use it. But this using compliance automatically is for the birds. <laughs> I mean, as far as I'm concerned, we should just leave it to chance. Hey, you know what? These compliance guys are great. They do a risk assessment, and the CSV is an on-site validation that's going to help you meet your global requirements. Yeah, they're okay, but nothing special. <laughs> What's special? Do the research for you? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I already ordered my instrument, right? And it's been working just fine up until now. Yeah, but how do you know that your instrument is working to the manufacturer's specification? A PQ can help to determine that for you. Ah, no one's come knocking. And if it does go down, I can just find somebody in-house who can bring us back online. In-house? Do you have any idea how much that's going to cost you? No, no, no. Leave it to the guys at Life. Leave it to the experts. Nah, I'll run that risk. Excuse me, Dr. Pink, the last thing you need is an instrument going down and costing you all sorts of time and resources. Hey, these are well-made things. And you don't care that you're, you're relying on these instruments, that your lab colleagues are relying on these instruments as well. You know what this is? This is the world's smallest violin playing just for my lab colleagues. You don't have any idea what you're talking about. These people bust their chops. This is a hard job. Yeah. All right, ramblers, let's get rambling. Wait a minute, who didn't throw in? Dr. Pink. Dr. Pink, why not? He don't use compliance. He don't use compliance, why don't you use compliance? He don't believe in it. Shut up. What do you mean you don't believe in compliance? Come on you, cough up a buck. All right, I'll put in, but normally I would never do this. Don't worry about what you would normally do. This is a real lab with GMP, GLP, GCP, and ISO 9000. So open your wallet, Dust off the moths and pony up a buck like everybody else, thank you. That was the Life Technologies Lab Gang. Everybody wants compliant services. Followed by Thermo Fisher Scientific's Knowledge Grows Where Your Good Training Goes. As LT Silly Awesome Sounds of the Parody Weekend just keeps on chuckling.